You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. A long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. showed up and came after us. The others? Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Uh. Ready? You know it. Okay, we had seen these things, these specters up up on the uh, Midgar plate. They were attacking Eris at the time, and not much of an explanation was given as to what they were. And here we are again, fighting them again, and again, no explanation is really given. This was not a part of the original game. It's possible, maybe these are spirits. If I had to take a guess, I'd say maybe these were spirits that were uh, caught in the life stream, but were burned up in the Mako reactors, which is why they're all fucked up. Or maybe they are, um, I don't know, perhaps the spirits of the dead ancients that are trying to... I don't know. <laughs> Could be anything, really. I can speculate all day. I'll have to play the game to find out for sure. Now, these things are actually kind of a pain in the ass to fight, because they are somewhat resistant to damage and they are very resistant to staggering unless you throw magic at them so here we go fire boom look at that shit all sorts of damage if i had the elemental materia and i can link it to somebody's attacks it'd be great but you know i don't have that right now so huh, do what you gotta do time to burn <laughs> See them unless they make physical contact first. More of them? We're running out of time. In the other way? Yeah, over here. Again? Are they trying to stop us from reaching the others? Cloud, this way. Cloud had said you can't see them until they make physical contact. I guess it's because when he walked up on Aerith to begin with, she was freaking out because they were flying all around her. And he didn't see shit. Then I guess one of them touched him, so that's where he got that idea. They seem to attack with some kind of intelligence and some agency. They're after Avalanche for some reason, just like they were after Eris for some reason. Maybe they followed Cloud back here, and that could be the reason why they're in the Sector 7 slums, attacking Avalanche. Hmm. I do want to point out that 
this will be the last episode in which I am using the old footage. Now, just a sort of a refresher. I originally recording this, I had used the PlayStation 4's remote play to cast the footage to my PC and then used the use a stream capturing uh, software called Bandicam to record footage. Unfortunately, casting even over a wired local area network like I'm using here, the quality of the footage wasn't really all that great. It's because the PS4, at least the space model, which is what I have, it's a launch PS4, isn't really all that great at encoding the video, and it was stuck at a 9, uh, 1280 by 720 stream. And it shows a lot of compression artifacts and blocking and all that kind of stuff. The quality of the video just isn't that great. And then you add the on-the-fly encoding that I'm doing on top of that, and then I'm feeding it through Adobe Premiere, and then I'm in compressing the video, then sending it up to YouTube, who may very well turn it into their own format. After all of that, you, you lose a lot of quality. I'm not particularly pleased with the quality of the video coming out the other end. Plus, there was some kind of a mess up that I was making, a mistake I was making, where I ended up losing all the save games that I had made because I was locked into a guest account for some reason. So, I started the game over again, not recording the footage up to this point, but I am just feeding the video directly out of the PS4 into a capture device, which gives me a 1920 by 1080 video, which is at a higher, uh, lower level of compression, just higher quality overall. So in the next video, you should see a higher level of fidelity with the image. Not that I think that this is absolutely terrible. A lot of the uh, even HD videos that I had shot much earlier in my uh, days of doing these HD videos on YouTube looked worse. But it's 2020, so I, I should be doing better. Come to think of it, in the original game, every once in a while you heard a kind of a sound effect. It was sort of a wailing noise, which was... It was referred to as a cry of the planet, where the the planet is alive. The Mako life stream, whatever, is its sort of its lifeblood. More of it's like its soul essence kind of thing, and it's made up of all of the different animals and people and plants and whatever that that lived and then died and then are reborn again and blah 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 all that kind of stuff every once in a while though you would hear a sound effect which would play in the game which was called the cry of the planet because the planet was in pain because because the shinra corporation was sucking the maka out of the ground and you could hear the cry of the planet because of the stuff Sephiroth was doing. Again, spoiler alert, a little late to say that. But I'm thinking maybe this has something to do with that. Maybe this is kind of the... a physical representation of that cry of the planet. And of course, we're seeing it a lot earlier than we really should be, considering we didn't have that kind of stuff happen until later on in the game. But then again... You gotta introduce all this stuff earlier in this game because it will end at the end of the Midgar section. It's kind of got me a little bit depressed because I know I'm going to want to keep playing the game after that point and I won't be able to, at least not for a couple of years or so until the next game comes out. Hmm. Anyway, the fight's almost over. Use magic and then smack it. That's my strategy. Huh? 
Jesse! You okay? <laughs> Me and my two left feet. <laughs> Easy now. What's going on? What's happening? We ain't putting on a damn show! The hell were those things? Some kind of... I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit'll come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but... yeah. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. Huh. What? What did you do to your leg? Did, 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 does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine! <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off! Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man! <coughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> okay. So here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. All right, everyone. Clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some help for me, okay? <laughs> Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health! Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? <laughs> This'll help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. Ah, forgot to give this to you, bro. Your prize for taking the top spot on the darts leaderboard. You earned it. After you guys come back from the plate, maybe we can play around together. Relegated to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think I'll never have a starring role. There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks. I need them. Hurry back now. You don't want my home-cooked pizza to get cold. I'm counting on you, bro. Don't let anything happen to the others. Some monsters came into town, apparently. Think all right. All gone now, though. Let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. Weirdest way I've ever seen someone pick up a job, but... Well, Cloud's on the next bombing mission, so I guess it worked out for him there. <laughs> Despite her reservations about what had happened before, all the collateral damage and such... Tifa will be joining us on this bombing mission. And Barrett will be here too. He's eventually going to join the party. So, we're finally going to have a full party of three. But right now, we don't. Anyway, the next episode's going to be coming up soon. So, I guess I'm going to have to cut this off. Play it cool.